Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 13 of my Minecraft bee breeding guide. Today we're going to be talking about some bees added by the magic bees uh, in the veiled branch. And there are five of them that I'm going to be talking about today. Four of them are found in hives and the other one is the one you need to breed. But of these bees, this is the attuned, this is the mystical, this is called unusual, this one is sorceress, and this one is eldritch. The attuned bee is going to be the hardest of the bees for you to find because it is deep underground, usually around the redstone nodes underground when you're digging. So it's not going to be easy to find these right off the bat. They are used in a few bee breeding uh, recipes. So you're going to have to keep an eye out for them. And when you find them, just storm away and keep them safe. But, uh, some things to note, they typically like normal climate and humidity. They do need flowers, and they have no effects. And when I say typically, uh, what I mean is these say normal, normal, but this one has some tolerances, and this one, by default, doesn't like normal conditions. However, it does have some tolerances that allow you to use the uh, the normal conditions. You can go down two spots, down to, uh, I think normal is down two from hot. Or no, cold is. I might be wrong on that. And then the arid is down to uh, normal. Yes. And that should be up one. So maybe the sorceress doesn't like the... Uh, wetter climates like normal and damp, but it does like the normal uh, climate. So, sorry I misspoke on that. I thought that was up one. My apologies. Anyway, the Eldritch Bee, the default one, uh, doesn't have any uh, qualms with being in a normal environment. Now, the output from this uh, this line of bees and a few others that come from it is rather special. You get this mundane comb, which will give you some beeswax and honey drop, but it also gives you this stuff called magic wax, which is used in a few things, including the uh, magic capsules, which you can use for storing liquids like water and honey and lava and, and other f uh, fluids and, and whatnot from some of the other mods. You can make these glass files, which are used in Thumbcraft, uh, in uh, holding your essences and all that. And then you can also uh, make these rather expensive uh, essence of everlasting durability, which are used in some pretty higher end recipes. So. Uh, it's uh, good to start stockpiling these if you're going to be going through these guys in the future. But let's go take a look at the Veiled Branch and see what you've got in store for you. Hopefully I won't crash. Excellent. Alright, I've abbreviated them here. Attuned, Mystical, Sorceress, and Unusual. They are Hive Bees, so I have them labeled as one. Now, in order to get the Eldritch Bee, which is the one bee that you... Uh, need to actually breed in this branch you are going to need the cultivated branch to get here so if you don't know how to make the cultivated bee you can go through the book and uh, go take a look at the apes hub or you can go take a look at my apes video uh, if you do want to go take a look at this uh, yourself I will be making a link to the download for this uh, map in the description below. I have made this map in the Unleashed mod pack as part of Feed the Beast. So you are going to need to get Feed the Beast to tinker around with this map because I've added a few little knickknacks here and there that aren't part of 
the bee breeding experience and are just solely for either decoration, that special door there, the obsidian pressure plate, or for light or, or the ceiling, the, the glass in the ceiling here, which is not normal glass, it's actually called clear glass. But uh, you are going to have to get the Unleashed Mod Pack to uh, examine this map. But let's take a look at what you get here. Um, oh, I actually got all three of these Eldritch. All right. Let's identify this thing and see how long it took to breed. Two generations, not bad. Here's some of the stats. Let's compare it to the actual Eldritch. Uh, the default that you get from NEI. Not too much difference. A pretty fair notable difference here. And that's because of the bees that I used for breeding it. Uh, I have a selection here for you to use if you want to download and, and tinker with it yourself. So uh, you've got all the different bees that you'll need and I will toss these in here for you to examine yourself. Slight differences there. But let's take a look at the output. You can expect out of a purebred to get two drones from one queen and a, I guess about maybe uh, uh, five out of ten queens will give you a uh, mundane comb. But that mundane comb, when you run it through the centrifuge, will give you about half a stack of honey drops, a little less than a stack of beeswax, and not that much magic wax. So you're going to have to cycle through these things a lot if you're going to go after this magic wax. But that's it for the output. One other thing to note, the bee, the uh, Eldritch Bee, as well as some of these, I think it's mostly the Attuned and the Unusual, it might be some of the others, uh, but they are used in producing bees for later branches. So this is a prerequisite branch that goes on to a lot of the other magic branches, including Abominable, Arcane, Supernatural, Alchemical, Skulking, and Thomic. So if you're going after anything in those lines, you're going to have to get the Eldritch here and or find these hives as well as the Attuned Hive, which I don't have an example of here because uh, they are kind of hard to find. And I did spend a long time trying to get one and I still didn't find one, so I don't have an example for it. I apologize. But that is pretty much all you really need to know about the breeding for this branch. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. I do appreciate that. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. And uh, I have uh, a another uh, series that I'm uh, doing sort of in conjunction with this, the tree breeding guide. So keep an eye out for that. That will be going up uh, sometime after I've finished putting this up. Depending on when you're watching this video, it may already be up, but uh, I have lots of other series that I've been working on and will be working on, so there's a lot to look forward to in the future. And like I said, if you want to get this map to examine it yourself, feel free. The download link will be in the description below. But that's where I'm going to have to wrap up. So thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.